Hello and welcome to Blytheway Business News, where today we're joined by a private company for a change, and that company is Cornish Lithium. Uh, we're in the studio with Jeremy Rathel, who is the chief executive and founder of Cornish Lithium. Jeremy, welcome back on the show. Uh, for those uh, viewers and potential investors who don't know Cornish Lithium, give us a quick overview of what you do and where you do it, please. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for the introduction. So, no, we, uh, Cornish Lithium is a company uh, which does indeed say what it does on the tin. It's based in Cornwall. Um, it is a Cornish company, and we are exploring for lithium in uh, two types of uh, deposits, one in geothermal brine, which is our original and main focus, um, and that really is extracting lithium from water um, below the surface in Cornwall. And, and also, we are also working on a hard rock uh, lithium extraction project in a former China clay pit in Cornwall, where that will be extracted lithium from the granite. So really two distinct projects, uh, both of them which are coming along very nicely, um, and hopefully uh, one of them at least will be in production by 2025. Okay, so two aspects to the operation. Can we start first though, having a, a more detailed look at the, the United Downs operation, which is the, uh, the lithium in brines project. Tell us a bit more about that. And also, because we've been looking at, uh, at your announcements, that has been deemed to be globally significant. Why is it globally significant, please? It, it has been called globally significant um, by SRK, who's our competent person looking at this project, um, because the grade that we got from the deep geothermal brines was uh, 260 ppm um, lithium, which is the highest grade of lithium we can see in geothermal brines anywhere in the world. Uh, from published papers. So it's not just that though, it's also the fact that it's a low a total dissolved solids brine, so it's very low salinity and will make it much easier to extract that lithium from that solution. So we are really, really excited about that and the economic potential. Well, you use the word there, <clears throat> Jeremy, extraction, because I suppose this is not traditional mining, it is more mineral extraction uh, yeah. with the, uh, the, the lithium brines at United Downs. Uh, let's now just shift over though, to the Trilava uh, hard rock project. We've also got lithium uh, in granite, and I believe you've also produced there um, some battery grade lithium. Tell us, tell us something about that. We have indeed produced battery grade lithium um, in, a, in, a, in a, a trial basis where we sent off samples from the, from the Trilava project to Australia to be processed by a company called Lapidico. Uh, using their technology, they produce battery grade uh, lithium hydroxide, hugely exciting for us. And as a result of that, we bought a, an exclusive license to that process technology over the synostal granite in Cornwall. So we, we will now be uh, moving forwards uh, with that project. We're going to be building a pilot plant based on the Lepidico technology starting in September this year. And we're also piloting um, the grinding, crush and float technology uh, in Cornwall as well. So hugely exciting and, and great progress being made there. Is it fair? I think it is fair to say we're still at the early stages of this this lithium industry in Cornwall, but we're all getting very excited about the transition to electric vehicles. How significant, how important can your project be to the motor industry in this country as they start to ramp up demand for lithium? How 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 much of a part can you play? Well, I, I think Tim, it's it's uh, fair to say that. A supply, a domestic supply of lithium is absolutely vital. Um, because of the rules of origin that came in after Brexit uh, earlier this year, that mandate that the uh, constituent parts of a, a, a car, a motor vehicle, have to be sourced, uh, up to 60% of those parts have to be sourced from the UK or Europe by uh, 2026. Now, that is a really draconian measure that if it's not complied with, will result in tariffs on our car export. So it really is a very serious issue. And it's not just that, it's the issue of, of a global Chinese trade war. It's a, a, the issue of um, just generally se security of supply as, as highlighted by Project Defend, the, the government's, UK government's process that's going through right now. And also, you know, a completely unrelated note, 
we want to capture the value add of that manufacturing in the UK. We want to, rather than importing somebody else's lithium, where we've no idea how much carbon footprint there was, we don't know where it came from necessarily, we don't know the ESG credentials associated with that, we want to capture that value add in Cornwall to actually generate uh, employment, generate uh, economic value add for the country. So exciting times for Cornwall and potentially very significant times for the UK. As I said at the start of the interview, you are your private company. Uh, you're not listed on a stock exchange anywhere. Um, I know that to get this far, you have raised money through crowdfunding. Um, is this something you would consider in the future? And if you were to do it again, what would you use the money for? Okay, so we are contemplating uh, doing another crowdfund uh, in the very near future. Um, we've had ex extremely high levels of interest expressed in a potential uh, further investment round. So we are actually considering a number of options right now. We've also had a lot of interest from, um, let's say, corporate opportunities. So we're already, as, as a board, assessing that uh, process right now. So watch this space. Um, and and if, if anybody wants to um, look at potentially investing, there is an opportunity to register on our website right now. But obviously, we have to say, um, uh, we have to advise people that such investment is risky and to um, invest aware. Okay, good health warning there. Uh, let's just take a, a little step back, if we may, from Cornish Lithium, but stay with Cornwall. Uh, next month in June, um, Cornwall is going to be playing host to the world leaders as the, the G7 uh, meets in Cornwall. In your view, what's the significance of Cornwall playing host to the G7 this year? Huge significance. I think um, when you consider what the G7 uh, meeting is all about, and it's actually obviously the G10 because there are other uh, major economies being invited to that conference, that conference is framed around the transition to net zero renewable energy. And really, our point is that without lithium, there is no transition to net zero because you cannot have electric vehicles, you cannot have battery power storage. And, and lithium is integral to the transition to renewable energy and net zero. So really, it is hugely significant that the delegates are meeting in Cornwall. The area in the UK which has got the only really suitable geology to extract lithium, and really we hope to be able to showcase that to, to delegates at the G7. So a, a hugely significant opportunity for us and for Cornwall itself. Well, we wish you luck at the G7, and we look forward to having you back on uh, on the program in the near future, Jeremy. That was Jeremy Rathel, uh, Chief Executive and Founder of Cornish Lithium, which is extracting lithium in Cornwall. That's it from Blytheway Business News for today. Thanks for watching.